I grew up out in the sticks, and I used to see um, National Guard airplanes flying over, and also the dirigibles that the Navy had. I've always been interested in flying. In November 1942, I was in high school, so I, I came into Philadelphia to enlist. I left Philadelphia and went to Fort Meade, Maryland, where I stayed for about two weeks. And I was uh, transferred to Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. I left Washington, D.C. at night on a Pullman. The next morning, when I got down in Nashville, they yanked me and put me up front with, with the rest of the colored people. And that's where I stayed till I got to Biloxi. That's where I really ran into segregation, Jim Crow, and all that. I kind of thought that they had forgotten about me because I was there two months. Then the orders came through to send me on to Tuskegee. I was, I was glad to get out of, Miss, out of Mississippi, believe me. Dusky Airmen were the first to break ground for the Negro pilots. But actually, most of the bomber groups never knew we were black. We escorted them day in and day out. But they had no idea that we were a Negro fighter group escorting them. 1949, I got a letter from the Air Force asking me if I wanted to return to service. And I politely turned it down. I said, no, no way.